Welcome to video by DJ's PRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. And visit the website www.greathobbies.com. We have the Kingsling from Lucy, the newest LMT vehicle. It's a 1.8. Believe it or not, the other LMT, I do have it on my channel. Uh, it was an awesome machine, but this one, they did a couple of things different compared to the other one that I like. Uh, first, uh, I do love the wheels. They're awesome. I want to grab a set and be able to put them on my uh, Outcast. Maybe bring the Outcast out this winter. We'll see. I'm not sure. But these tires are awesome, seriously. But enough about the tires. Uh, we have the Lucy Slinking. It has a 2800 kV motor. If I remember correctly, it said 2800. Uh, 130 amp ESC. It has a Spectrum servo. I'm not sure if it has steel gears. I didn't have time to check. But it is a servo on axle. It has sway bars. This part right here is still plastic. The link between the sway bars and the axle itself. But all the sway bar parts are fully steel. Even the kind of fork link here, 100% steel. Steel TVPs in green. And the other thing they did different on this one, I'll show you in a second or two here. Uh, even in the back too, it's still the same thing, all steel. Aluminum shocks, uh, fully adjustable. Aluminum links. The only thing, the drive shaft is plastic, but the drive cups right here are steel. That I do like. And these awesome tires, D and B uh, Paddy, I think they call them. The rim is plastic. I'm not a big fan of chrome, but yeah. And if we look underneath, just it's basic. And inside interior, you do have a couple of gauges. You do have kind of a, a part ring, but a protective on a seat cover kind of. I don't know how you can call it exactly. But you could put a lot more details in here. Major difference compared of the first LMT, you opening from the front to the back. What they did on this one here, two body pins here, one on each side, and you flip it forward. To be able to open it. Now you do have a full cage. The uh, exhaust. But what I like what they did, they brought the battery tray the speed control and the ESC, but the ESC, the receiver box, lower as possible to keep the uh, LOCG. That I do like. They do give you kind of a small case. I'm not sure if it, it might be empty. You might be able to put some light controllers in it if you wanted to. It comes with the IC5 with the smart technology if you have a smart remote it will give you the temperature of the ESC and an approximate of running time left in your battery that I do like like I said full TVPs a little bit of flex here when you do that but you do have the uh, sway bar connection here all in steel front and back is the same but they could have 
maybe put the shock tower in between in uh, steel just to prevent that flex but yeah yeah 2800 kV motor and you're on and off switch on that side you do have the shock protector front and rear <coughs> No, it is an awesome machine. The steering link could have been maybe aluminum. Is that something you might hit? Does have a servo saver. Eh, we'll see. I might get one or may not. I will see. By the time this video airs, I'm not sure it will be out yet. It's not out. It's not official yet. There is two colors for it. It will be an RTR. Not sure if it will make a kit. I know the LMT, there was a kit or a roller. Yeah. If you guys have any comments or questions about this vehicle, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. And that like button does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, go check out greathobbies.com for all your hobby needs in Canada.